Hello, hello, Crafty Man is here, and welcome back to another episode on the Obsidian Order SMP. So in the last episode, we had our very first episode, and I ended up going out, and I explored, and found a lovely place to call home, and got things kind of set up over there so that I could kind of start getting, like, mining and gathering materials and all of that lovely stuff. But now we are back at spawn. So I'm going to just come over here and kind of show you. I don't want to get too close to spawn because you guys need to go watch the other videos because, oh my gosh, they are, they are starting to seriously get into it and the stuff going on in spawn right now is absolutely gorgeous but I don't I don't want to do any spoilers so at some point I will do a tour of spawn and kind of show you guys everything that is going on down there but you can kind of see little bits and bobs that are down there like we got Adela that's Dom that's Sunfire and Sunfire is also over there and Race is down over here and yeah there's there's all kinds of stuff going on but we, we are going to be up here on the hilltop, and that is because I am not making a stationary home. <laughs> I decided that I wanted to do something a little bit different for my home here at Spawn, and I am going to be building a wagon house. And so that is what this is, this is the base for. So it's going to be, it's going to be relatively big, and so I think it's going to work out really well up here on, you know, the hilltop, because then you'll be able to see it really well. Um, from you know, from down to below so you know there's going to be other stuff up here and then it'll also because it is a wagon I was like it's, it wouldn't be necessarily down in town because you know it's going to be able to be you know kind of take off and then as you can see oh the um is that I think is that a new horse yeah, that's a new horse. Okay, <laughs> I need to I need to get that horse in here. But yeah, because I don't have I don't have that pattern on there. As you can see, I've been gathering up all the horses, and so that's gonna kind of go with the the wagon over here. So we're you know maybe like a wandering horse trader or something along those lines. So I think that would definitely you know that would definitely work out well. And I yeah I don't have any supplies in here. Okay. But yeah, so that's, you know, kind of what is going to be going on up here. We're going to be building this nice, lovely wagon house. Now, I had weighed whether or not I wanted to do a, you know, like a replay of this for the whole build. But with this, I actually, I actually want to do it in parts for you guys. I think that would work a lot better than just, you know, doing the, the build all the way through. Because I actually want to kind of explain some of my process, you know, for doing this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the wheels and the base. And then bring you guys back and kind of talk you through some of the process. And there is the base of the wagon all done. As you can see, it's actually pretty big. Especially for like a wagon. Um, <laughs> Oh, perfect timing <laughs> for, for Dom that, yeah, perfect timing. So yeah, so as you can see it, yeah, it is really, really big. And so that it's going to be there so that it can actually accommodate an entire house. So if we go ahead and come up here, oh, I did forget to add in the floor down here, but this is going to be a nice little storage area back here. And then the actual house is going to sit on this base here. And so it's just going to be able to just kind of roll off. And so this is going to be the home for the, you know, the person who's in charge of the horses. And so this is a nice, nice base for the actual house. And then if we come down here, as you can see there, you can actually walk underneath. And that's kind of what I wanted to do to, you know, be able to actually go underneath the, the actual house. And then we've got the two different size wheels. We've got the front wheels, which are a little bit smaller and the back wheels, which are bigger. And yeah, so that's kind of, you know, the, the base for the house. Once I get the house on, it's going to be a little bit harder to actually see what is going on with it. And so I wanted to bring you guys in before I did that. And just so you guys can see what I ended up doing. So we've got, you know, we've got the axles here. This one comes up underneath the base here. And so we figured that it goes all the way through in order to, you know, for the wheels to turn. And then back here, the axle is sitting right here. And so the base of the house is going to sit on top of this here. And then, yeah, and this right here, this is to attach. I do not know what, <laughs> I don't know what's big enough to actually pull this, but I might need to come up with some kind of organic, like either like a yak or a bison or something along those lines to, to kind of be able to actually pull 
the you know pull this lovely wagon and the the house that's going to be going on it and you guys kind of see just how heavy this wagon would end up being <laughs> once i get the actual house in place so the next step is for me to go ahead and build the house on top of this and then we can kind of figure out from there where we go for our next adventure before I head back to spawn, I wanted to bring you guys back here to my base. In between clips, I've been kind of working on getting geared up and, you know, trying to get stuff, you know, situated. And I discovered a couple of things. Now, this, I, you know, this ladder here, this goes all the way down so that I could do some mining. Well, I was, as I was going down, I ended up hearing lava. And so that is this first section right here. And look what I found back here. This is so cool. I'm actually thinking about recreating this at the actual mansion. So maybe do the, the portal over at, you know, the base area as at this. You know, or at least something similar. Or, you know, make it so that I actually, like, rebuild the... Oh, oh oops. Um, oops. <laughs> but rebuild the temple as, you know, as it was in its glory days kind of a thing. Um, so, um, yeah, definitely thinking about doing that for, you know, for the, the actual, like, portal to the base area. Now, this right here, now, this wasn't discovered because of, you know, going down the ladder. This was, this is actually in the Lush Cave. I just found out that it is literally just, yeah, <laughs> right there. It's like, um, huh, okay, so... So we have, we have a uh, skeleton spawner. So this is going to be awesome. I'm going to get this decorated up. I found out that uh, Cranky Calamari is selling some of the tinted glass. Granted, I am broke. I'm <laughs> very much broke. I've used, yeah, I've used all of my diamonds. Buying books from Sunfire and, yeah, making equipment. So, yeah, I got to go mining again in between episodes. Ugh. <laughs> but... We'll, we'll get there. I still need, yeah, I still have tools that I need to make and all of that. So, yeah. So, that is another project that we're going to be able to work on, which I am super excited about because this will allow us a source of experience here at the base. So, I am now going to go ahead and head back to spawn so I can show you guys what I did there. And here we go. One very large wagon house. <laughs> I'm definitely really happy with the way that this ended up turning out and the deep slate. Oh my gosh. I am loving the deep slate and the dark oak. And yeah, because normally, normally with these, I'll, you know, I'd end up using the cobblestone, but the cobblestone is really light. And oh my gosh, does the deep slate seriously add something phenomenal to this. Now for the chimney, I ended up using, I think it's smooth basalt. You end up getting that from the the actual, like, geodes. So that and the calcite, I think, is the other one, which is the white block. And so, yeah, I saw that. I'm like, you know, that would work really well because it's not the same texture as the cobbled deep slate. and But it's still the same, like, color. And so that works out really well. Now, the, you know, we have two different floors on here as, you know, so that the, we have all kinds of stuff. And then if we come back here, this, 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 this right here, this is, <laughs> this is a selling point for this house for me. So this was, you know, this was completely accidental, but it's, it's a platypus. <laughs> I built the house and then I added this back part here and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a platypus. <laughs> and so that is what this house shall be dubbed. It is the platypus house. And the fact that I did it the blue or the cyan kind of color here. Yeah. For those of you, you know, who, who know, you know, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to name any names or anything like that. Cause I don't want to get, you know, copy striped or whatever, but, but yeah. So for those of you who know, <laughs> you know what platypus that is. So but yeah, so this is this is the uh, lovely house. I still I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this. In fact, I might end up I might end up moving the ladder over one so that I can then get seven blocks in between because I've been kind of working on an animal for in here, and I don't think the the five blocks might not be enough for that because I'm thinking I really want to do some chonky legs, and so doing a two by two would definitely work. 
But then there's, yeah, it's just basically, there is just basically going to be legs. And so if I expand this out some more, just by one, really, on both sides, then I can kind of, you know, enclose the legs in other things. So that's, you know, that's one of the things I'm thinking about doing is kind of moving these over. So I'm going to play with that, you know, in between episodes because I still have, I still have lots to do over in this area. And so this is definitely not, you know, the be all end all of, you know, of this area. I do want to kind of expand out stuff here. And then as you see, yeah, that's horses just keep coming. I captured the one horse from the beginning of the episode and yeah, now I've got another boots horse over there. It's like, um, I, I've already got that texture. So <laughs> in fact, I've got two of them. It looks like, but well, let's go ahead and head on inside. There's not a whole, there's not a whole lot to this. Um, right now I just, you know, I'm just using it as like storage cause this is, yeah, the basically, basically the stuff here. So, um, uh, what I would like to do is actually set up like a staircase that goes up and then, you know, do some stuff in the inside here. Now, if we come down here, we've got lighting in here, so we don't have to worry about mobs spawning up here, but we've got an area that we can end up doing using some storage and all of that. And then I figure that this will end up kind of adapting as things progress because we've got the shopping area that we need to build, which is over in that direction. Um, I'm going to be working on that during the, uh, the break from content creation. So over in that direction, past Adela's place, there's going to be a shopping district up there. And so I need to get the roads in place for that. And then, and then, yeah, and then up here we have the, the house, you know, just up here, we've got, you know, windows that we can actually look out. And yeah, I am definitely super excited about that because we can see spawn or the spawn village and all of that. And then this just comes out here to this lovely little balcony. And so they're going to be able to see all, you know, all the stuff that is going on. So we can see spawn town without glass in the way. And then, yeah, and then we've got all this area here too, which I'm hoping to expand out a little bit. And then we've got our little, you know, our little windows and stuff. I was really, yeah, really, like I said, the, the deep slate, I am, I am loving the deep slate in terms of just like a building block. It's a pain to mine, but <laughs> once, once you get up to, you know, the diamond level tools, it's not all that bad. So that is, you know, that is definitely good, especially with the fact that we started with another eye pick, which, you know, helps out, <laughs> which helps out tremendously. So yeah, so that is the uh, spawn house. I am really happy with the way that it turned out and definitely super excited about things moving forward. We've got a mob farm to take on and we've got to take on the mansion. In fact, I think for the next episode, I am going to go ahead and take on that lovely mansion. Um, see what kind of trouble that I can end up getting up to there. <laughs> but once we get that kind of cleared out, that means that we can start working on the actual mansion, which I am super excited about. So yeah, so mansion for next episode, possibly the mop farm. Definitely, you know, kind of work on trying to get all of this stuff situated. And, you know, in between episodes, you know, like I said, I'm going to be working on getting stuff set up for, you know, for the shopping district. Um, this is going to be the last episode. And I do apologize for those of you who watch all my episodes. <laughs> um, I am going to say this probably in every single one until, you know, until the last episode for, you know, this, this year, which, um, is going to be a Valheim episode, which is going to be coming out on Wednesday. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be, this is going to be the last, you know, the last episode for the Obsidian Order for this year. I definitely hope that you guys all have wonderful holidays. Uh, for those of you who, you know, celebrate the season and then, you know, nice, wonderful vacation <laughs> for those of you, you know, who aren't necessarily into, you know, the whole holiday thing. So I definitely hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the Mantis icon to subscribe, then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left, or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.